Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as the title suggests, I'm only allowed to use skills which cost 5 dice. So of course, I'm gonna be putting in Ganyu, cause Frost Flick Arrow. And then next, I'm gonna be using the Electro Hypostasis, cause not only is Rock Paper Scissors really good, like it deals 7 damage for 5 dice, the Hypostasis also comes with a Revive, which will be really useful for us. And lastly, for our third character, if I was a casual, I would just put in the Oceanit or Zhongli because both of them have skills which cost 5 dice. But I'm a tryhard, and because of that, I'm gonna be putting in the Abyss Herald instead. And you might be wondering, but wait, the Abyss Herald doesn't have a skill which costs 5 dice. And you're absolutely right, so I'm not going to be attacking at all with the Herald. But instead, I'm just going to be using its talent card, because its talent card doesn't count as an attack, so it's allowed. It's allowed, guys. Don't stop me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice my Abyss Herald as soon as possible, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to equip the talent card and just give my opponents inflation. And while they are locked down with their increased prices, I'm going to send out Ganyu and the Hypostasis to deal massive damage. Next, I'm going to use of course, for the Undivided Heart, just one is enough. And then two of these, because each one of these can re-equip the revive on my Hypostasis. And also heal, heal it for 3 HP. Next, I'm gonna use Gamblers, of course. And now, if we just stay with like 8 dice every round, that's pre pretty bad because that means I can only attack once per round. And then I'll have 3 dice left over for nothing. So instead, I'm gonna have to put in a ton of ramp cards like Paimon, Liban, and of course Gilded Dreams. So as long as I can get 10 dice in a single round, which all of these cards enable me to, I can attack twice, which is exactly what I need. Because attacking twice is like better than once since two is bigger than one. Thank you're welcome for the explanation by the way. Anyway, Paimon, Liban, Dunyazad of course, since well these guys are companion cards, and um, Timaeus to pair with Gilded Dreams. Now for our draw power, and mind you, we do need a lot of draw power, the Treasure Seeking Silly is not really good because we need to attack 3 times to use this. And like I said earlier, if we only have 8 dice, we can only attack once. And that's not a pretty good thing to pair with the Treasure Seeking Silly. So, instead, gonna be using Strategize, as well as Countdown to the Show. Since not only does Countdown to the Show draw 4 cards, it also fixes all of our dice. And we're gonna need to fix our dice because using spamming 5 dice core skills does require some insane dice requirements. It does require some... Uh, forget, forget what I said. Just pretend like it was a normal English sentence. Then of course Liar Song, War Princess, because you always pair these with Gilded Dreams. And for our last card, it's our Arcane. And I'm gonna be using the stove because I want to draw Surging Undercurrent as soon as possible. Although we only have like a 2 in 5 chance to draw it from stove, but it's good enough for me. We also have Storm Terror Slayer anyway to draw more cards. I mean more talent cards if we need to. Now finally, we just have to pick the Fontaine card box because I spent 14,000 lucky coins on that and I'm gonna use it as much as I can. Equip Dragon Spine Traces because why not. Now the reason I'm doing this in Arena of Champions is because there is no way I'm doing this challenge in co-op matchmaking. Like can you imagine you using this deck only allowing yourself to use 5 dice core skills and going up against Conwheel? No, I'm not doing that. That's why we are here in Arena of Champions. Oh nice, we just get Surging Undercurrent right off the bat. Oh since I get that, I can just get rid of my stove, I don't even need it. And unfortunately, we don't get any draw, any ramp cards like Paimon or Liban. That's a shame. So, guess I mean I guess we start on the hero anyway. My opponent here is using Dilo, Kudo, Sarah, and Sayu, which is usually not scary at all. But when I'm using this deck, it's pretty damn scary. So, okay, just roll my dice. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I roll. Just gonna use these cards anyway. I'm just gonna stay on the Herald and just waste a few dice because I, I just need the Herald to take, to take as much damage as possible so that this talent card can do its thing. 
Storm Terror Slayer. Nice, I got Undivided Heart. That's pretty good. You could. I'm not equipped, I just use Timaeus. Oh, we get Gilded Dreams. Okay. That's wonderful. So we can attack twice next round. I can switch to Ganyu and just use two Frost Lake Arrows. Excellent. Too bad I waste like three dice here, but it is what it is. If I had Paimon right now, it would be perfect. Now hopefully they switch to d look and just overload my arrow. Oh no, they're gonna use Sayu. That's gonna hurt. I mean, it's not like I had a choice. Okay, I draw another Gilded. Hopefully I can get Liar Song so I can actually make use of these. Actually, I don't even need the second Gilded if I'm just gonna use Liar Song. Oh well. And our Herald doesn't even die. But oh well, it is what it is. I'm just gonna stick to the plan and switch to gun you and use frost Lake arrow okay thanks for the dice game uh, you know it's, it's fine it's fine you know just just give me terrible dice when i'm doing this challenge oh my god okay now we switch to gun you if they sold me again the herald will die so they'll get the inflation so i don't care if they sold me So thanks to my amazing dice, I don't think I can go for two Frost Flake arrows this round. So instead, I think what I can do is... Actually I can still... No I can't. I'm not tuning all my cards, never mind. I think I'll just go for like Storm Terrace left followed by Liban. And I should have one extra die left over to switch back to the Herald. Okay, that's cool. The world will burn. Uh, okay, while well, they're locked into that, I suppose I could just do my Frost Flake Arrow now. Use my second Storm Terror Slayer. Gilded Dreams up. Now we use this. Now the second hit will come in. Ouch. God, that hurts. Now we switch to the Herald, because I don't want Ganyu to die yet. Bow before the abyss. Plus if they hit my Herald, I get more cards, so that's good. Okay, they're just gonna heal up. Wow. I mean, this is obviously terrible for me, but I don't know. Maybe I can still clutch this somehow. I'm gonna use Liban for sure. And end my round. Oh, please give me some good cards, game. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. I, I need a liar song right now, though. That is what I need. Okay, I'm just gonna keep the Electro because the dice are not with me today. Oh, nice, we get liar song. Excellent. Okay, so I imagine they're just gonna use their skill again. Or not. I'm gonna use their burst. And I draw Kavara now. Okay. Now if I switch to Ganyu, she'll just die, but it's not like I can do anything about it. So maybe I just let her die. I think I just have to let her die. You, there's nothing I can do. To save her. Hmm. I suppose there is a way, which is to force them to use an elemental skill. But then I bet their dice are pretty good. Yeah. I'm just gonna switch to gun you. As per our contract. Okay, goodbye Ganyu, and then I guess our Hypostasis can try and do something. I mean, I can use two Rock Paper Scissors. That is a verb. Thank you very much. 
and we'll see what we can do from there. Ugh. God, why is it so hard to play this challenge? I mean, it is a challenge, but... Ugh. I don't know what they're thinking for though, like, just normal attack and get rid of my gun, yo man. It's not that hard. It's not much else you need to do. Okay, you can just let my gun you attack too, that's fine, that's fine too. You know, do whatever you want, I guess. I'll take it. So obviously I'm gonna use my undivided heart here. Oh my god, I, I, I sound so disappointed in them. Because I am. I'm just gonna get my free uh, 8 damage, I guess. I'll take it. And plus this applies cryo on another character. Now if they take out my Ganyu here, which they should, then I'll just send out my Hypostasis, and now it's okay for Ganyu to die, because I got my second plus flick arrow off. Now before we do anything, I'm gonna use Kavarina. And then Dire Song that. Take it back. Just so that we can play Gilded Dreams. Because not only does this give us more dice, it also allows us to draw cards when we do elemental reactions, which I want of course. Now we just use this. Okay, we draw gamblers. It's not really useful because I have another one already. What the hell did you just do? And you just can't see because of that? Okay, I mean I'll take it. That's cool I guess. Well let's not question what their opponent just did. So I'm gonna go into our second game. Because one game, you know, one game might have just been a fluke. Maybe you just won out of luck. You're like, holy shit. We, we might have lost, boys. Okay, so I went into Arena of Champions because I don't want to face meta decks while doing this challenge. But you know what I get? A meta deck. But it's Cave Bloom. And you know what? No one else knows more about Cave Bloom than I do, right? After playing like 35 games of that shit. Okay, I'm sure there are a lot of people who do know more about this deck than I do, but like... I, I've played it 35 times. I know what's up. And once again, I'm gonna start on the Herald. Because you know what? who counters the entire Cave Bloom deck? Abyss Herald. Okay, I'm gonna need like slightly worse dice here because... I need Liban to do its thing. To, to do its thing. Okay, that kinda works. So in case you don't know, normally the Mona plus Kave elemental skill combo it deals 10 damage. But against the Herald, because it starts with 6 HP, this combo actually only deals 6 HP. It's like a complete overkill to the to the Herald's first life. And because of that, it kind it counters them really well. Now please give me surging under card. 40% chance? Okay. Did not work that time. It's a shame. Now we do this, just to draw more cards. Huh. That's actually pretty good. We use Storm Terror Slayer now. Oh, nice. Perfect. Actually, I just realized I have all three of these guys. That's pretty cool. Equip that, of course, because our opponent is really dependent on elemental skills, so searching undercurrent just hurts them even more. Now finally just Liban. Now we will draw 4 cards here, so we won't overdraw if I do this. Perfect. Now we just an hour round. A perfect start. Now I bet our opponent is gonna switch to Kave and I mean use just just use Kave's elemental skill. Like, it's bad for them, but they don't have anything better to do. That's the thing. Because one way or another, they have to get rid of my hero. And the only way to do it, I mean the best way to do that is to just use the elemental skill. And just accept that you're not gonna deal 10 damage, but just deal 6 damage instead. Okay, not 6, but like 7. I can count, guys. Or eight. God. <laughs> Alright, it deals six damage if you're using Furina, but if you use Mona, it's uh, eight damage. Okay, I kind of forgot about that. 
I played 35 games using the Furina variant guys. Please don't please don't roast me in the comments below. Okay now I'm gonna need some some cryo dice. Thank you. Because now my hero's gonna die. Which is fine I guess. And I'm gonna get a free switch to gun you. Wait. Right, they don't have a second burst scan. Okay. I guess my hero not dying is a little fine. Uh guess we equip Kavarina first. Can I use Okay if I use Lyra's Song I can do two frost flake arrows this round. So I'll just Welcome do exactly that. How much can I get away with here actually? So that will generate three dice. This will cost like two dice to put down. Um, hmm. I think I can even put down the second storm terrace there. I think. Well, what while they're thinking, just let me count in silence. You guys can just like count with me or something. Let's let's count like we're in elementary school. Okay, that's interesting. A normal time. So that means I can actually s wait. There's no point switching. It's actually better if they just if I just let them bloom on my Ganyu because that means they actually just waste the dendro core. I think. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Okay, so if I use Storm Terrace there, that will cost three dice. It's five dice, and then put on Dunyaza, put on Timaeus as another two dice. So I only have two dice left. But then I use War Princess, Liar Song that back, Gilded Dreams, that gives me three dice, and I can attack again. Quick mats. So Storm Terrace there. Nice. No, I said Dunyaza, right? Okay. Dunyaza. Timaeus. Okay. And you can cross leg arrow now. Trying so hard not to mess this up. Obviously, I guess. Cross leg arrow. Now, as long as they don't have Tandoori Chicken, Ganyu should not die. I mean, they're 5 cards only, so I imagine they don't have Tandoori Chicken in their hand. Plus, they will have to tune a lot of these cards to attack, I bet. Okay, just just have good dice, why not? That, that works too. So, like I said, they wasted a Dendro Core because they had one previously, but then they got another one. And since Dendro Cores can't stack, they just lose all of them. So they have no more Dendro Cores now. Which is fantastic. So now, what I say I was gonna do again, right? Ball Princess. Liar Song, this one. Gilded Dreams. Oh, if I want to save Ganyu, I actually can. Do I want to save Ganyu? I mean, I guess I do. Suppose I do want to save Ganyu. Let me do this. And then our second Frost Flag Arrow. Okay. We're doing somewhat okay in the damage department. I'm not too worried still because I still have two revives for my electro hypostasis, so that's pretty cool. And I think I'll end my round on the Herald here. Cause fun fact, when the Herald dies with the talent card equipped, they get another two curse of another curse of the undercurrent. So that's great. Only thing is I don't have any ramp here, so going to the next round I only have eight dice. Hopefully I can get another liar song. That would be ideal. Now, I guess we just get rid of those. Oh god, our dice are not very good. 
But we do have a lot of cards too. Oh, here comes the Narwhal HP. Breaking new ground. Okay, so if I want to, I can actually do another Frost Flake Arrow here since they don't have any Dendro cores. As per our contract. I can just do this. And I'm not at risk of Bloom at all because they're still stuck on Kave and this deck doesn't have LITM. So here I can give up this because it's completely useless now. And then we just Frost Flake Arrow. I swear to god, if they let me win, I, I don't know what to say. Okay, they deal more cards, of course. Can't let the Narwhal die now. Okay, normal attack to take me out. And I guess I just use this now. Yeah. And you know what? I'll do it with gamblers as well, so... It hurts them even more. I don't need my second gamblers anymore. Although, it's not like I need two Paimons either. There is a world where the second gamblers will come in handy, which is like, if I get War Princess again. So I think I'll save that actually. And then... Hey, should I save that? Yeah, I'll save it. Man, I meant to do that! Okay, okay, goodbye gamblers then. Oh my god, that's a shame. And rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So now... Wait, this is actually really bad for them. Wait... I think they just have to end their round on Kaveh here. They don't have a choice. But that also means they don't get any more blooms. Because if they switch to the Narwhal, the Narwhal will just die. Which, I guess... Wait... No, it's not good for them. If the Narwhal dies, it's not good for them. If they switch to Mona, then they just get double killed. So that's obviously not an option. So I think they're just forced to stay on cover here. And either way, they, I believe they just lost. So that's wonderful. Now they have to send out the Narwhal. No, that is not okay. Like, I understand that the Narwhal's HP means a lot to you, but I don't think giving up Mona was the right. I mean, maybe it was the right option, who knows. Okay, do that now. Timaeus, please? Nice, okay. Thanks to that extra kill they gave me, I can use Timaeus again. And this should give me Guild of Dreams, right? Yeah. I, I, believe, I believe that's my last artifact. Now we can end our run. And next round we get a free Guild of Dreams. Still have two revives. A liar song. I have so much stuff. All I need now is Electro Dice, right game? Right game, all I need now is Electro Dice. Screw you. It's okay, we have Paimon to bail us out a bit. And we also have the Guild of Plus Liar Song combo to bail us out. Oh my. This guy has the freaking... Okay. I mean, it's not that they can kill me anyway. I can just... I can just use my rock, paper, scissors. And it should take them out. Because they can't get any more dice, so... So like, yeah, it's just GG. Well, I just beat Kaveh Bloom while using this weird-ass deck where I'm only allowed to use 5 dice skills. That's a thing.